Hey y'all, my name is Lauren Patton. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm a Broadway actor most recently in the Alanis Morissette musical, Jagged Little Pill. Uh, and I'm here to talk to you about why climate change and climate justice is something that's extremely important to me. Um, probably if you've been on this planet for more than about 10 years, which I'm going to safely assume is the majority of you, if not all of you, um, you've seen firsthand evidence of changes to our planet because we have uh, not been taking steps as a nation and as a global community taking enough steps to combat climate change. Um, I know something that is pretty recent that really struck me about that was the enormous amount of destructive wildfires that we saw in our country over the last six months to a year. Um, I don't know about you, I have a lot of uh, family and close friends who live in California. That was pretty scary. Um, and it's interesting now seeing so much direct, very obvious evidence of the negative effects of climate change and knowing that we still have many lawmakers who are not committed and don't believe that this is really happening or that it's something that we need to really um, make our number one priority. But um, I think the way to combat that is to keep talking about it and to share with your friends, with your family, on social media and with your representatives why this is important to you. Um, so that's why I'm here to talk about it because if we don't keep the global conversation going, uh, it's easy for us to kind of just go to our day-to-day -day lives and not um, really think about the consequences of not taking this seriously. So, I am like, what are y'all doing in your day-to-day -day lives? What helps you? What make, what works for you? Because I know that for me, it can sometimes feel like I can't do anything about climate change. I'm just one little person. And I definitely catch myself saying that to myself. But I've found that if I just shift a couple of priorities in my life, um, I can make some kind of impact. Um, whether that's making sure that all the lights are off when I leave my apartment. Uh, or it's saying I'm not going to eat meat for a couple days out of the week. Um, those are just two tiny examples. Saying, oh, I'm going to get a reusable straw and I'll bring it with me. Oh, I can bring reusable silverware with me. That was a big thing during Jagged that I did um, because I was tired of using the plastic silverware that takeout uh, people include with food. So I would say don't include silverware and I would have my own little bamboo reusable silverwares. Uh, that I would use for all of my meals. So uh, ultimately small actions like that can add up and can also just keep in your mind day to day, this is something I care about, this is something I wanna take actions around. Um, yeah, so that's just a little bit about how I think about it. Um, I really do believe in the importance of uh, collective small, incremental actions to make big change. And I think we just need to keep making noise about it because um, we're very lucky. Thankfully, we have an administration coming in in the United States who does care about climate change and who does recognize that it's real and that it's happening and that is it is a dire necessity that we address it immediately. So I think we're in a place where we have a great shot with legislation to actually address it again. And we just need to be on our own representatives and legislators um, to let them know that as their constituents, we do care about this and it is um, a, a priority. Uh, so don't be afraid to use your voice. Um, and that's about it. That's about all I got to say. Uh, let's just keep fighting and um, not get bogged down in how dire it is because it's true, it is really dire, but um, we need to keep taking actions. And I know for me, sometimes when I think about the magnitude of the problem, I can get really overwhelmed and just go, I'm done. I'm not gonna, I can't engage with that. That's too depressing. That's too hard. I can't do anything really to make change. So um, take it one day at a time, take it one step at a time. And uh, let's use our collective voice.